Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Last Day of Spring. This is a C a I think it's the what if sequel to One Night Hot Springs. I don't know. You can get the game this in your in the description below. There's one main ending and like a few other ones, so we're gonna go for the one of the endings. And that's it. Monday, April 1st. Ha! <laughs> Got you! It's the second. Young woman... What? The young woman lounges on a beanbag while watching television. Today, the new era name was announced. Reiwa comes from the... Manyoshu and is meant to represent it. This is the first time the era name has been sourced from classical Japanese literature instead of... News, 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 news. So what was the point of the little garbled text that I thought was supposed to be people talking? And was actually TV noises of people talking rather than, like, oh, I don't know, uh, our character talking? <laughs> our heroine talking? Erica turns off the television. Ugh. Everyone's just talking about the new era name. Who even cares? Not like anything is gonna change. The Emperor doesn't even do anything now. What's a new Emperor gonna do? Probably something. I don't know. I wonder what Haru is up to. Erica pulls out her phone and opens the message app. Yo! Sup, boy? Stamp, yo. You see the news? There has to be something better on TV. Hmm. Hmm. Erica flips through a few channels, but. Guess not. Oh, that's probably Haru. What news? The new era name. Oh, that. I saw. Stupid, right? Sounds like the name of an anime character. Like, we should just get rid of it entirely. So annoying. I don't know. I think it sounds pretty. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, of course, Haru would like it. But Manami likes it, too. Such goody two shoes. Have you met up with Ma Manami lately? Not since we had the picnic at the Shinjuku Gyoen. Is that like a garden or something? What? No reason, just asking. The picnic, huh? I haven't really talked to Minami since then. Ugh. Why am I watching the news? This is so boring. Wanna hang out later today? Sorry. Dinner with coworkers today since it's my first day. People do that? They don't do that here! At least they don't do it officially here. In the States. It's like something co-workers would have to invite you to or agree to do after work or something. Oh my god, that's a watermelon emoji. Can I just, like, petition the developer to make the... the developer, the artist, or both, if they're the same person? Can I just commission them to make emojis like this? Is I, I want that I want that watermelon thumbing up. Alright, Har is a working adult now. It's weird how we're almost the same age, but I'm just a student and she's like a full fledged member of society. Let me know more about your work later. You didn't tell me anything about it. It's not very interesting. Just tell me anyway, I wanna know. Okay, after I get home then. I need to get back, though, since lunch break is over. Bye! Hmm, what should I do today, then? I guess I could ask Minami if she's free. Nah, she's probably hanging out with her boyfriend anyway. But I don't really have anyone else I want to ask. Ugh, I guess I should just call her. Okay. Hi, Erica! Hey, Minami, you free today? Actually, I was just about to call you to ask the same thing. Oh, cool! Do you want to go to Alouette? Sure, meet you there in 30. Okay, see you soon! Oh my god, that was adorable. That was an adorable little beep. Guess she was free after all. Better change out of room clothes before heading out. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Well, there we go. Erica arrives at Gallery Cafe Alouette. 
She looks around for her friend Minami. Maybe she's not here yet. I guess I could order first. Erica! Over here! Hi! 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 Erica hears Minami's voice, but she's nowhere to be seen. Eh? Over here, silly. I got us a table. Oh, thanks. I'm just gonna order first, then. Actually, I already ordered us an afternoon tea set. Hope you don't mind. Not if you're paying. My boyfriend paid, actually. He left just a bit ago. He left? You didn't have to tell him to leave. He said he didn't want to get in the way of our girl talk. That's, uh... Why'd you want to meet up today, anyway? All right. Wanted to ask you if you were free this weekend. Well, classes don't start until next week, and I'm boring. I'm a boring hermit. So, yeah, I'm free. Why? That's great! I just wanted to make sure, uh, you were still a boring hermit. I want to surprise Haru for her birthday. Oh! When is her birthday? Today. The... the fucking... I didn't know! No one told me! You didn't know? I thought she would have told you. Bullshit! If you talk so often lately... Well, she didn't. I guess she just didn't think to tell me. I'm sure she just forgot. She's busy with her new job, after all. I guess. I was planning to go out with her for today, but she's going out with her co-workers. You're gonna have dinner together? Yep! I wanted to give Haru her present on her birthday. I'm planning on just dropping by her house later tonight. You could've, I don't know, invited me or something. Yeah, that would've been a smart thing. And then again, you also could've told me her birthday, because I, I didn't know. I didn't know either. I didn't know! Erica, I'm really sorry. I didn't exclude you on purpose. I just thought that Haru might be a bit tired after her first day, so I kept it to just the two of us. Would three really have been that stressful? This is, they, we're all friends. We're all chill. We know how to deal. She doesn't have to socialize if she doesn't want to. But, like, we're there together. We're there to have fun and poke fun at people who pass by. In a joking kind of way, not in a jerky kind of way. You're gonna make fun of... I don't know, never mind. Maybe I'm too into the riffing mindset. I think Haru would really like it if you were there this weekend, though. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Sorry for being weird. How oh, didn't make you feel left out, Erica. I'm fine. Can we just drop this topic? Are you really okay? I'm fine, Minami. Seriously. If you say so. I'm still thinking about what to do for Haru's birthday, though. Could you call me if you have any ideas? I could think of an idea. Let's go to a really fancy restaurant. And not make me pay. <laughs> Just wanted to ask you, are you ready for classes? I'm a bit nervous since we're in our third year now. Man, I'm in my first year and I'm not ready. Shit. Erica returns home and heads back to her favorite beanbag. I spent way more time at the cafe than I planned. I love Minami, but she can go on for hours. Haru's probably done work by now. Might as well send her a message. How was your first day of being a real working adult? Also, even though you didn't bother telling me... Happy birthday. Maybe that sounds a bit too salty. It's totally cool that you didn't tell me. I know you have work and all. I don't think that makes it any better. Why do I even care? Let's see what's on, then. Erica turns on the television, but it's more talk on the new era name. Now let's take a closer look at the calligraphy of... People are still talking about the new era name? Who even cares? They do. Your culture cares. That kind of matters, right? Isn't there any real news on? This is ridiculous. The new era isn't even going to start until May. I'm just going to take a nap. That's a good plan. That's your room? Now that I think about it, we were here earlier, weren't we? Erica's in her room after a quick nap. Maybe just all the locations look the same. I don't know. That was a good nap. No reply from her yet. Maybe she went straight to dinner with her co-workers without checking her phone. No, the message is on red. 
She's just ignoring me. Guess she might not have the time to respond, though. But she's eating dinner with her co-workers and all. Why am I being so needy? This doesn't like me at all. I should just confess my love to her. Be maybe that's Haru. Unsent a message. What? What's Haru playing at? Are you at dinner? If you're busy, you don't have to reply. Message is on read again, but still no reply. Why are you unsending messages? A sorry stamp? That's it? Heart is acting weird. Hey, are you okay? Of course! Why wouldn't I be? I'm suspecting something. Okay, something is definitely up. Do you want to talk? And she's leaving me on read again! Okay, I'm gonna call. You can just ignore it if you want, but I'm gonna call. Calling now. I, I think... I think our friend here is nervous about something. No answer. Maybe she really... she's really just... Haru finally picks up the phone, but she says nothing. Hi. Hey, how was work? It was okay. Oh, that's great. Are you at dinner with your coworkers then? No. Huh? I didn't go. Why not? Sorry. What the? What does that mean? What is she? Sorry, I just. I can't talk about it on the phone. Sorry. Okay, just calm down. Stop apologizing. What's wrong? God, I hope her coworkers didn't say anything awful. I'm gonna punch him in the penis if they did. Was it someone at work? No, everyone's really nice. The work is fun, too. It's mostly just sitting in front of a computer. Then what's wrong? Maybe we should just go over to our house. Nah, that'd just make it harder for her to talk. It's really stupid. It probably isn't. Just tell me. Work was really great, it's just, it was my first day, and I had to sign all these forms. Ah, uh, so that's it. You could use my own name for regular work stuff, but for the contract and everything, I had to fill out with my legal name, and my legal gender. I don't know. I just thought, since I'm officially an, ad an adult today, I just wanted to do my job with my actual name and gender. But I couldn't. Oh. Everyone's talking about Rewa. A new era th is with a new start. I just wish I could have a new start, too. I said it's really stupid. It's not stupid! That is not stupid. It's stupid that that's a system that you have to live with when it's 2019. Seriously, just let that... Let, quit with the legal gender thing and legal name thing. Just is there a way to apply to change that? Because I know, I think that's the thing you can do in the states. You just have to tell them you lost your birth certificate, and then you just get that squared away or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of certain states. I can't believe I was sulking about Haru's birthday earlier. Such an idiot. Alright, I'm gonna call you now. Necker presses the call button without waiting for a reply. Should we wait for a reply? It seems like the nicer thing to do. Erica? Why are you- Haru, are you free this weekend? I think I'm free, but- Okay, we're going out then. Keep the day open. I will, but- Good. Okay, and Haru? Yes? I don't care what it says in your stupid family registry. You're Haru Suzuki, and you're an absolutely amazing woman. So just don't forget that, okay? I'm gonna hang up now. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just said that! I feel like somebody in a stupid TV drama. Okay, I just need to cool my head a bit. That's all. 
Oh wait, Minami. We need to stop her before she goes to Haru's place. Haru's probably in no state to see anybody right now. Erika takes out her phone again to call Minami. Or maybe they're already together, is it? Hi again, Erika. What is it? Don't give Haru the present tonight. Huh? I mean, I was just thinking that we could both surprise Haru with presents on the weekend. Oh, that sounds great! I'll wait until we all meet up then. You have any ideas about what to do? Actually, about that. Since you arranged your own birthday trip last time, I thought maybe I could do the planning this time. To surprise both of you. Well, that'd be nice, but it's such short notice and all. It won't be too much trouble for you, will it? Ah, it's fine. I want to do it. Okay, then I'll leave that to you, Erica. Just let me know if you want me to prepare anything. Got it. Talk to you later. Okay, I just said all of that, but what am I gonna do? Whatever, I'll work it out. Haru is feeling down, so I need to cheer her up. What better way to do that than a surprise birthday party? I can start planning the logistics and all tomorrow. For now, it's bedtime. Yay! Tuesday, April 2nd. Joke's on you, it's April 3rd. So we're still continuing April Fool's throughout the entire month. It's a new day. Erica wakes up and starts thinking about what to do for Haru's birthday. Okay, I have until the weekend to plan everything. I should probably at least ask Haru if she if there's anything she wants to do, though. Mayhap. Yo! About this weekend! If you could go anywhere, where would you go? Or like, if you could do anything you wanted, what would you want to do? Are you asking about places to go? Anywhere's fine. That's not helpful! I don't know where people usually go on the weekends. It's not about where people want to go, it's about where you want to go. Where do you want to go? My friend. Haru. I don't go out much. I just want to know where you want to go, like maybe somewhere you've always wanted to go, but never got around to, or something you want to do, and haven't had the chance to. I don't know. I really don't go out much. Why don't we go to an arcade? They still have those in Japan, I'm pretty sure. They're almost extinct in the States. That's unfortunate. This isn't getting anywhere. Maybe I could think of some options and then let Haru choose from them. What do people usually do on their birthday within a regular uni student's budget? Arcade? You don't have to apologize. I'll figure something out. You have work soon, right? Talk to you later. Okay, I'll try to think about this more. Bye! Erica puts away her phone. Birthday activities, huh? Let's see what the internet suggests. Arcade? Cake? Arcade again, maybe? I don't know. A Dave and Buster's would be great, but then again, I've never been to one. There's none in my area. It seems like a lot of fun. But, like, there is none in my area, and I'm disappointed. Erica chooses the first link that comes up on the search page. Page titled, What Do Women Want to Do on Their Birthdays? Who do you want to spend it with? More than half chose their boyfriends slash husbands. That doesn't really apply here. What do you want your boyfriend slash husband to give you? Why does this assume every woman has a boyfriend or a husband? This site is awful. This site is misogynistic. It does have a list of popular birthday activities, though. Go to a day spa, done. Visit a theme park, a hotel buffet, a romantic dinner at night. Romantic dinner is out, but the others could work. Yeah! Have a pizza party at an arcade place like uh, Bave and Dusters. This probably won't be that expensive either. Nami and I can each chip in half to cover Haru. Let's see what Haru thinks. Spa, theme park, hotel buffet. What do you think? I guess I've never gone to a spa before. Yeah, you have! You totally have. I don't know, I probably couldn't. Why not? You know. Alright. I guess a spa might have been the same issues as a hot spring does for transgender people. Oh, good. it was a hot spring. I thought the spa and the hot spring would be synonymous. 
But I mean, the hot spring worked out last time. I'm sure you could figure something out. Don't worry about that, I'll deal with it. You wanna go to a spa? I'd like to. Awesome, it's a date then. Erica stares at the message she just sent. As in a date... As in, like, a date to go to the spa, because we set the day for the weekend, so as a date we set. What am I even saying? No, you want to date Haru. It's fine. It's, oh, it's fine, dude. Thanks, Erica. I really appreciate it. You, you want to date Haru. I I'm shipping it now. Okay, stop being weird, Erica. You have a birthday thing to plan. Let's see what spas there are around here. Maybe there's some that list that they're transgender... Uh, friendly. Like a safe place for them. Has the hot spring worked out miraculously? The spa... Maybe not. It's important to remember, though, that this is set in Japan. So the... The, the social norms are kind of weirder. From what I understand. In that transgender folk have a harder time there than they would in the States. There's actually quite a few. Didn't realize this was such a big thing. I could also be wrong about that, but... Eh, I'm hoping it's a more peaceful level of bullshit than it is violent in, as it is in the States. Whatever, I'm gonna shut up now. I didn't think about it. I've never gone to a spa either. I have them sorted out into categories, though. Which category should I look at? Um... Pamper yourself. It'd be a bit expensive, but it's Haru's birthday. I can afford to splurge a bit. Let's find a spa with some fancier facilities. Oh, I didn't think this hotel had a spa, too. But I guess maybe all fancy hotels have their own spas. Not all of them. A good number of them. Who knows, I've never gone to a fancy hotel. I did a couple times. Not to the spa, but I've been to some fancy hotels and they did have a spa in them. They also had some really nice restaurants. One of them had a Benihana. Which is why... Which is one of my favorite places to go now. <laughs> oh wait, that's a soft... Ch chateau? Oh, that's a soft... Ch why do people have to name their fancy things in foreign languages? To sound fancy. Chateau is house, by the way. Or home. It's a place. That's it. That's all you need to worry about. Anyway, let's look at the plans. Might as well get the price shock over with. Wait, this is already more than half off? It still cost 18,000 yen per person. The original price was 38,000 yen before tax. Oh my god, let's take a look at what the plan includes at least. 90 minute oil and aroma treatment with massage for head, neck, back, legs, and feet. I feel like relaxed just thinking about it. Oh, it also comes with tea time afterwards. Tea room is on the 12th floor with a view of Tokyo Sky Tree. Fuck yeah, dude! The only downside is that it's $180 per person. <laughs> I'm fortunate that I can afford it if I pay it back over time, but no. Tea time includes... Wow, I can't even read the name of this tea. It includes a cake set from the hotel, though. And the photo looks delicious. It still costs... 180... One... Ah. 18,000 yen per person, though. 18,000 yen plus 9,000 yen for half off horrors payment would be 27,000 yen before tax. It's practically 30,000 yen. The plan does sound amazing, though. Check more options. Super relaxed. Horror stressed out, so a spa with a relaxation package would be good. Maybe the massages or saunas or something? This one sounds nice. Spa Cafe Souffle. It's very girls' day out, though. What's souffle even supposed to mean here? I don't know. It looks super relaxing though. It's got baths sourced from natural hot springs and jet baths too. Looks like they even have an area inside where you can apply mud masks. 
The stone sauna uses aroma oils. That sounds really nice. The cafe area looks super cute as well. They have hammocks and bean bags. It's like they have a lot of magazines and books for you to read. They have comic and board games too. Fuck yeah, dude! They even have massage and treatment options, though you have to pay separately for them. This is actually not that bad. 1,400 yen per person, and that includes the stone sauna. If you want to book a room, it's more expensive though, plus 2,000 yen per person. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm pretty sure one yen is one cent in this case, so... Or about one cent, so it's about 20 bucks. Looks like the only rooms are hotel-style rooms. Probably meant for people who want to take a nap afterwards. Massage and treatment options are all pretty expensive, though. The cheapest one is 3,000 yen. If I choose this one, maybe I'll just read comics while Manami and Haru get a massage. Overall, though, this place looks really fun. I bet Haru would enjoy it. Uh... I think maybe we should do the pamper yourself one. Let's do it. I think I've decided. Let's do the Chateau. This is for Haru. I can afford this. Let's get pampered at the Chateau. I just need to book the date then. Should probably check with Manami to see what she thinks first, though. Of course, because, uh, <laughs> we're a broke college student. You signed on a place for Haru's birthday? I did. I was thinking it since it's Haru's birthday and all, we could splurge a bit and go to a hotel spa. That sounds lovely. It's really expensive, though. How much is it? 18,000 yen per person before tax. Well, that sounds very reasonable for a hotel spa. <laughs> expensive for a university student's budget, I mean. Oh, you want me to pay for you, Erica? I don't mind. Wait. No, 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 no. This is my idea. I should at least pay for myself. You just said it was expensive. Yeah, but... Well, I mean, you're not paying, okay? You can pay for half of Haru's share, but I'm paying for my own. Okay, Erica, what's the name of the spa? Le Chateau. It's that fancy hotel with a name I can't pronounce. I think I might have a discount. What? My parents are probably members of that ho at the hotel. Let me go check. Wow, count on Manami's parents to be members of a fancy schmancy hotel. We really live in two different worlds. We should be able to get a discount on all spa packages. But it's already heavily discounted. Would it... Would it work? Do discounts stack? Only my membership info to book, though. You want me to meet up tomorrow and make a reservation? Yes. Yes, I do. You meet up at Alouette again. Well, that was... That was simple. So I've chosen a location, at least. I think that's enough work for today. I guess I can take this time to... A message. Wonder who it's from. Message from Haru. What's Haru apologizing for? No reply. Haru, come on! Talk with me here, girl! You can tell me things. It's fine. It's nothing. Ignore me. I was just thinking. I don't really need to do anything for my birthday. I'm sure it's a lot of hassle. It's nothing special. Bullshit! We're doing something nice. You, me, and... Manami. We're doing things. Maybe you should call it off. It's no hassle. Uh, it's Haru's birthday. She's probably just being polite and all. I haven't really done a spa day before either, so I'm pretty excited for it. It's really no hassle. I'll leave it to you then. It's totally fine! Let's just enjoy the time. Let's just enjoy your birthday, okay? You enjoy your birthday. I'll worry about the repercussions later. On my bank account. And if nothing else, if I can't afford a dorm anymore, then I suppose I could bunk with somebody. Need to catch up on all the series I'm watching before school starts again. 
Ah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Wednesday, April 4th. Still, still April Fool's Month. Everything's a day ahead. Just to fuck with people. Nami's taking forever. Erica, I got us some water. Oh, thanks. If you say this number when you book, then they should give you a discount. Thanks, Nami, this is huge. Have you ever been to this hotel? No, but I think my father often stays at the chain on business trips. Probably would need to for such a big discount. This makes the price almost affordable for me. Thought I could help. The spa plan sounds really nice, so I'm excited. Especially for the tea time afterwards. You want a book? Sorry, my phone's vibrating. I think someone's calling me. You can get that. Sorry, I'll be right back. It's probably your boyfriend calling again. I swear he calls her all the time. It's sweet of him, I guess. Sorry, Erica. Could you make the booking yourself? I completely forgot that my boyfriend wanted to meet up today. I can cancel if you want me to, though. You could also delay for, like, five minutes. I'm sure that wouldn't be an issue. But, yeah, I can handle things from here. Tell me if you need anything. Will do. Guess I should make the booking, then. What was the phone number again? Found it. Let's give them a call. Hello, this is Le Chateau. How may I help you today? I'd like to make a reservation. What plan would you like to make a reservation for? A sweet delight body treatment and tea time plan. How many people are you reserving this for? Three people. Also, one of us is a transgender woman. That's okay, right? Please wait a moment. What? I sincerely apologize for the wait. Unfortunately, our spa is a women-only spa. We must ensure that all our guests are at most relaxed, and that requires a women-only space. Yeah, and my friend is a woman. We do have a separate- oh. Forget it. Well, that was a waste of time. Whatever, there are other options. Let's try calling some other places. Erica tries calling a few other places, but... I sincerely apologize, but... Unfortunately, we cannot... Can't believe it! Oh, shit. None of these places... None of these places are okay with all three of us just going together. Why is everyone so awful? What should I do? I told Haro I'd deal with it, but... Oh, it's a message from Haru. Is the planning going okay? Should I tell her? <sighs> Definitely not. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I don't want to, but like... I should at least tell her it fell through- the spa plan fell through. I guess I'll save here and then say maybe. I should probably let her know in case it doesn't work out. Actually, should I really tell her? I don't think I should lie to her either. I'm having trouble booking a spa. It's my fault. No, it's not. Wait, that's... I just wanted to tell you in case we have to change plans. We don't need to cancel. It's still your birthday. We should celebrate. She's not responding. I'll try calling her. You only gave it two minutes. No answer. She isn't replying to my messages either. How long have you been waiting? Why did I tell her? Still no answer. There's nothing I can do if she won't talk to me. I'll try to call her again. Well, shit. That was a bad ending? Well, then I should probably, uh... Not do that. Definitely not. She doesn't need to hear about this. I don't know if there are any problems, though. What can I do, really? I don't think it's going great at all! Oh, I can't give up yet. I'll look at the site again and check out some other places. But I'll do that tomorrow. I think I need a break.
Thursday, April 5th. I'm very upset that honesty is, was not the best policy there. But yeah, we did have time to figure out a new plan, I guess. Erica's in her room, staring at her phone. Nothing. I probably called every single listing in the Tokyo area, but nothing. If I hear one more person say they only let people use services for their legal gender, I'll... I'll... There's anything I can do. If old Haru would work things out, like I could be their hero or something. So naive. I really don't want to disappoint Haru, though. What should I do? Suddenly, Erica's phone started to ring. I should tell her that we need to change our plans, but I really don't want to. Should at least pick up the phone, though. Hey, Minami! So I had to leave early yesterday. Did you make the reservation? About that. It didn't work out. What didn't work out? The reservation. Why not? Horror's gender. Maybe they just didn't understand. I can go talk to them in person. Don't. I called dozens of places and I got the same answer from everyone. But... I think we should just plan something else. I'm sure Haru wouldn't mind. Yeah, but that makes it worse. I just wanted to do something special for her birthday. And she had a rough time in her first day at work and all. She did then. She didn't talk to me about it. Yeah, she probably didn't want to worry you. She seemed so happy when I suggested we go to a spa. I'll call you back when I figure something out. Erica hangs up before Minami can reply. I don't want to tell Haru that the spa thing didn't work out. I don't know why people care so much anyway. Why is it so hard to find a spa that will just let three women go together? Here I am complaining this, about this one thing, though, when Haru must go through this every single day. She already said that she probably wouldn't be able to go when I first asked. She already knew how everything would respond. everyone would respond. I really don't want to prove her right. Isn't there any way Haru can enjoy a spa on her birthday? I guess I can look up spa alternatives on my phone. What is the internet? So goes, instead of a spa, go to the hot springs to relax. Done. Already. I'm trying to think of what the staff at Ryokan... The Ryokan Manami book was really accommodating. I guess that isn't the norm, though. Super Sento is a good cheap alternative. Nope. If you can't afford a spa, try making your own spa at home. Hmm. <laughs> This actually sounds okay. Buy spa goods and use them whenever you want at home. Here's some treatments you can use yourself. Okay, there we go. There we go. This isn't quite the same as the spa, but this might not be too bad. Let's see what Manami thinks. Manami, let's make our own spa. I mean, we can just do a home spa. That would work, right? Instead of a girl's day out, we can do a girl's day in. Girl's day in. I like the sound of that. I don't know how to do massages or that kind of stuff, but I have face masks at home. I can go shopping for some stuff, too. It sounds great. I'll check out what I have at home. I need a place to do this, though. I guess my place is okay, though it's a bit cramped. I've never been to your place before. This is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go check what I can bring. I should probably also tell Haru about the change in plans. Good thing I didn't tell her I've decided on a place, at least. Since it didn't work out. What should I tell her, though? Maybe don't tell her the details. Something tells me... That, uh, telling her the details is a problem. It was too expensive, number one. But... I just tell her it was a bit too expensive for me. And it was. I wouldn't actually be lying. It was really pricey, even with a discount. Yo! So it turns out spas are really expensive, but I got a better idea. Spa day at my place. What do you think? Erica sends Haru a bunch of messages, but then she remembers. But she's at work. She probably can't reply now. Sorry for the spam. Get back to me after work. Erica puts away her phone and looks around her room. We're holding Haru's birthday here. I'm gonna have to clean up a bit. I guess now's as good a time as any to get in some spring cleaning. Probably. Erica starts cleaning, but it's not going to be fun. Of course not. Who's just leaving their dirty clothes on the floor? Alright, that'd be me. Why do I do this to myself? 
Why do I do it to myself? Because I'm busy with other things. This place looks so organized. I can mess it up again after Haru's birthday thing, though. Well, that'd probably be Haru. Is it really okay? I don't want you to go through that much trouble. I have to prep ho at home and everything. Maybe instead we could just do something else. Haru doesn't seem really excited. I guess a home spa isn't really what she was, well, had been expecting, though. Uh... Nah, I can do this. Haru's just being Haru and trying not to be a bother. Never really done a, day, a spa before either, so it'll be fun to do a test run at home. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry, I've got it handled. Okay, but let me know if you change your mind. I won't. I cleaned my apartment for this. That's a really big deal, just so you know. Thanks. It's been a long time since I've gone to a friend's home. I don't expect much. My whole apartment is like half the size of Manami's room. That's fine. Looking forward to it. I'll send you my address later. Still need to prep, though. Bye, friend. Sometimes I think horror messages more in stamps than in, like, actual words. Probably. I think this room is acceptable enough to show off to other people now, though. I just need to buy stuff tomorrow, and then everything should be okay. Good job, me! Hey. I think I've earned myself the right to watch another few episodes. Good plan. Good plan. Can't argue with that. Friday, April 6th. Erica heads to a nearby department store to buy things she needs for a home spa. I definitely watched one too many episodes. I'm so sleepy. What do I need to buy again? Let's check the list I made. Scented candles, herb tea and cups, and say... Only own, like, one mug. Also, a salt scrub or something fancy like that. I think I should be able to get everything here. Yeah, it has a good variety. Let's start looking around, then. Did we get everything? I don't know how many candles we'll need. I guess I'll just buy a set. Probably need something to light the candles with, too. The only thing I could possibly use at home is my gas stove. And that's probably a bad idea. It is. Don't do that. They have a lot of weird teas. I bet most of them taste awful, though. Can't go wrong with green tea! This one has pictures of flowers on it. That's very spa-like, I guess. In the basket it goes! Oh, okay, I just... Mm. Don't know if this reference would do well, but... Alright, let's try this. These glass cups look cute, too. So I'll just grab these. And into the cart it goes. Oh, there's... There's sugar scrubs and salt scrubs. No idea which is better, though. The sugar one is peppermint scented. Nice. I'm doing solo travel vlog, by the way. The salt one has coconut oil, though. Which also sounds nice. I guess I'll just buy one of each, and into the cart they go. Okay, candles, tea, cups, and a salt scrub. That's everything on the list. This is probably going to make for a pretty weak spa day, though. Maybe I should get something extra. Mommy said she'd bring face masks, so something other than that. Oh shit, no, no, no. No, no, no. Definitely cucumbers. Fancy spas all have cucumbers to put on your eyes, right? Maybe... A face roller? No. Yeah. Cucumbers, yeah. I have no idea what they're supposed to do. I think they're supposed to, like... Pull on the skin of your eyes or something. Reduce wrinkles. Reduce the bags under your eyes. I could be wrong. Everyone does it, so I must do something, right? I'll pick up some cucumbers from the supermarket on the way home. I don't think we need anything else. I should call Minami to just to check, though. I just put in the order for the cake. The cake? All right, Haru's birthday cake. Thanks! Bring it over tomorrow morning and then we'll set everything up. We should probably think of a schedule. Minami, we're going to a spa- we're doing a spa day. Not a school field trip. But things will go more smoothly if we have a schedule. 
Fine, if it'll make you happier. What time do you want to come over? Car is coming over in the afternoon. I should get there in the morning. Since there's only the one bathroom, while Haru is using the salt scrub, we can prepare the cake. Oh, like a surprise! Nice. And after we eat the cake, we can give Haru our birthday presents. It sounds... oh. I totally forgot to get Haru a present. Well, he did all this prep work for the spa day. That's like a present already. Yeah, but it'll be weird if you have a present for her and I don't. Should I not give my present then? No, that's not what I... I can't believe I forgot. Schedule's perfect, Nami, but I'll call you back later. I need to think of something for Haru's present. Such an idiot. How can I forget Haru's birthday present? What would Haru want for her birthday, though? I guess I know what Haru would want, but it's not something I can just buy in the store. I can't even get her a day at the spa. Yeah, no. Now's not really the time for me to mope. Let's think of a birthday present for Haru. There's no point in getting a present that Haru could buy herself, but... Is there something she can't get that I can actually get her? I don't know! What could we get her? Maybe the internet can help me again. Maybe! Present for transgender woman. First result, how about a wallet for your cool transgender friend? Second, taking a look... That real woman, ex-woman, love. The problem with saying it's discrimination to keep people with penises out of the women's bath. Like only the first result has anything to do with presents. And the rest of the results are just... A lot. Two results about what washrooms transgender people should be using. What about what pronouns you should use to talk to transgender people? The correct answer is whatever pronouns they choose. By the way... I just wanted some present ideas. Thanks for nothing, Internet. It's a big topic! It's really- it really shouldn't be the, as big as it is. Just like... Transgender people are people. That's it. They're all people. Nothing special about it. I just have to figure something out on my own. Nergus phone lets out a beep. Message from Haru. I think I might have a cold. I don't want to get you or Manami sick. Maybe we should cancel the spa day. Haru's sick? Well, her new job isn't tiring her out too much. If it's just a cold, it should be okay, though. Spa day would probably actually be some good rest. Eh. Haru's cold isn't too bad. It'd probably be better for her to get out anyway. Is your cold really bad? I just feel a little sick. The spa day's the perfect thing to make you feel better. A good soak in a bath should do you good, too. I'll go buy some fruit or something, too. Vitamin C should help. Anything you like to eat when you're sick? Sweet things, I guess. Okay, I'll buy some sweet snacks. It's not like we're getting her a cake anyway. Actually, maybe we can ask Hara what she wants for her birthday. By the way, is there anything you want for your birthday? Well, you don't have to get me anything. Just answer the question, Haru. I don't know. I don't really want anything. An idea with my real name and gender on it, maybe. Oh, Haru. I know that's not what you meant. Sorry. I made things weird, didn't I? Sorry, just ignore me. An ID, huh? You can't really do anything about that without... I don't know, petitioning the government? It's not something one little person like me can change, especially not in a day. I guess I'll just do what I can. Maybe we could, uh... Go to Haru's office and... Request one? Probably not. And I don't think Haru would appreciate the attention that I would be giving her. Saturday, April 9th. I mean 7th. Oh, we decorated hardcore. This looks pretty good. Sure, it's no hotel spa, but it'll do. I scattered some rose petals in the bathroom, and it looks really cute. Set up the oil diffuser, too. Thanks, Minami. And thank your mom for me, too. It's really nice of her to let us use all this. She said it's all stuff that she'd just been lying around. 
When I told her we were doing a spa day with Haru, she just gave me all of this. She said it helped create the atmosphere. It certainly looks a lot better than it did before. Like that Amazon box in the middle. Why does she have canvas paintings lying around the house anyway? She collects art. I mean, this better not be some really expensive art thing. To be honest, I don't know. Remind me to re be really careful when taking that down. You really don't have to worry. Oh, my phone's vibrating. It's Haru. So you don't mind if I take this? Why would I mind? It's the birthday girl. Hi, Haru. Or oh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? I can go over if you... If you're sure. I'll tell her, don't worry. Did something happen? Hara says she can't make it today. She's not feeling well. She did say she thought she had a cold yesterday. I guess it got worse. I don't think that's it. Haru does this a lot. Eh? We'll have arranged to meet up on a day. Then suddenly she'll be sick or she'll have some other thing come up. I think she gets anxious about meeting people sometimes. Even you? You've known her forever! And I think that makes it worse sometimes. Why would... I've known horror since before. Before what? Oh, oh. She still felt like she had to hide who she was back then. Even with me. See, even now, I think it can be hard for horror to be completely honest with me. I guess that's one reason, yeah. Ah, uh, just ignore me. Did you talk to Haru for me? Eh? I think she's more honest with you than with me. Sure? I'm gonna head back then. See you, Manami. See you, Erica. I should message Haru. Erica takes out her phone and to send Haru a message. Hey. What should I even say? Manami thinks you're lying about being sick? Yeah, that'd go over well. It's a psychological thing, so Haru's not okay. You should ask how she's doing. I just want to check, but is there some reason you don't want to do a spa day? That's all I can do is wait for a reply. Sorry, I just can't. She just can't. Is it okay if I call? Okay, then. Nope. Hello? What did Minami tell you? She just said you weren't feeling well. Is that really all? Sorry if it wasn't something you wanted. Did you want to do something else for your birthday? What? No, that's not... I just... It's not your fault, Erica. It's not Minami's fault, either. It's just me. It's always me. Haru? Sorry, I just couldn't go. I'm sorry, you two did all this for me and I... I just ruined everything. Her, calm down. It's fine. It's fine, okay? Alright, I just want to know what's wrong. We can scrap the spa day, okay? But could you come over so we can talk? I'm worried about you. Is Manami there? She left earlier. Uh... Okay. I'll come over soon. I guess all I can do is wait, then. No point just sitting here, though. Maybe I'll eat something. Maybe the cake? If it was left over? No, that's rude. Oh, Harder's birthday cake is still in the fridge. And second thought, I'm not really that hungry. Yeah, it'd be a bad idea to eat the cake. Hello? That's probably Haru at the door. Door's open! Hi, Erica. Hi, Haru! You look adorable. You don't have to look so down. It's okay. I'm really sorry. Why? You did all this for me and I... You're here, aren't you? It's okay. If it's too hard to talk, we can just not do that. I brought snacks! I have snacks. Look, I have herb tea, too. Thanks, Erica. Eh? I feel a bit better now. Why? I didn't do anything. I don't know. I wish I weren't like this. Like what? I really was looking forward to the spa day with you two. I was, but for some reason this whole week, I had just kept telling me to find a way out of it. 
I just knew it was gonna go badly. At first I thought it'd be nice to go to a spa, but then I remembered there was no way I'd be able to go to a spa. Then, when you said you'd change plans to a home spa, at first I felt relieved since it would be in a private place. But then I got all anxious about it again, so I told Minami I was sick and couldn't go. Haru, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Is that why you kept messaging this week? Asking me if I wanted to cancel? Yeah. I just wasn't sure I was ready for a spa. You were okay with the Ryokan work, right? In the end, I was, but... At the Ryokan, I only went into the bath with you, Erika. This time, Minami would be here too, and... I didn't know what we were going to do for the spa. Sometimes you take baths at spas, right? I just don't want her to see me. My body doesn't look the way I feel like it should look. Right, Minami. I know it's stupid. Minami's known me forever. She knows that I haven't... I haven't had surgery. But I still... It's Minami, so I just... It's complicated, I know, and it's not stupid at all. Thank you for telling me, Haru. It means a lot to me. Let's call Minami later and figure out something else to do for your birthday, okay? Okay. Thanks, Erica. No problem! You know, we can just skip all the bath stuff. I still have herb tea and face masks and stuff. Come all the way here. Wanna try it out? I've never done any of the spa stuff before. I'd feel really silly just doing it by myself. Wanna have a mini spa day, just the two of us? I like that. Yay! Haru and Erica have face masks on. No shit. Is this really the right way to do this? I've seen pictures, it's probably great. Are you sure? You don't believe me? I do, it's just... Haru and Erica both put cucumber slices on their face. I feel a bit silly. What is the cucumber supposed to do? I read online that it makes your eyes less puffy. How? I don't know, but it has to work, right? Why else would everybody do it? How long are we supposed to keep the cucumber slices on? I think we're supposed to keep them on for 15 minutes. So we should probably keep the cucumbers on for about that long. Erica? Yeah? Does this really do anything? I don't know, okay, just keep the slices on. I feel stupid doing this by myself. <laughs> I feel refreshed. Yeah, that was fun. Feeling a bit better now? Yeah, thanks, Erica. No problem! Sorry it's not as fancy as a real spa, though. I guess the spas you contacted didn't work out then. Uh... Yeah. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? It's not like it's your fault. I just... I don't blame them. Legally, they could get into trouble if they let me in. But Haru here... Legally, not a woman. But that's just how it is. I probably wouldn't have been comfortable going to a spa anyway. I mean, the staff wouldn't have been comfortable with my body. I'm not even comfortable with my body. It's really a good thing that it didn't work out. Haru. This was really fun though, Erica. Thank you for preparing everything. I just wish I could have done more. I didn't think there would be any issues making a booking with a spa. I didn't realize that. I just didn't get it. Don't blame yourself, Erica. I'm happy you tried, even if it did even if I did think it wouldn't work. How are you not just angry all the time? I'd be furious with everything if I were you. You get used to it. I know some people can get angry at every bad thing that happens to them. And they fight to make things better. I'm really thankful for everything they do. But it just gets to me to be so much. And I can't do it, not all the time. I mean, all over the news, people are talking about Rayla, the new era. They're talking about the new era changing what... The, what that change might be for everyone, but nothing's changing for me. Nothing. I mean, the Supreme Court upheld the law that transgender people need to be sterilized to change their legal gender. That was just this January. Sure, they said this law might become outdated as society changes, but are they changing the law? No. So I can't change my legal gender. 
And even if I did, I still wouldn't be able to get married to the person I love. So what if a couple of wards have something similar to marriage for gay couples now? They're only valid in those words. In those wards. They're not really recognized as marriages. Everywhere I go, I feel like I'm being turned away. I can't go to women's spaces because I'm not legally a woman. But I can't go to men's spaces because I obviously don't belong there either. It just makes me too anxious to even go to a spa trip with my friends. Because society keeps telling me that I'm not. That I'm not really a woman. Then what the hell am I supposed to do? What the hell am I supposed to be? I'm sorry, I didn't know. I just want to live my life like everyone else. But I'm not even allowed that. Haru? Sorry. I'm gonna hold your hand now. What? Ah! Sorry. So stupid. I thought I understood how hard it was. But I didn't. Not even close. Every time I thought I thought I got what it was like to be transgender, I didn't get it at all. For your birthday, I thought I could help and make things better. But I couldn't. I'm sorry. Erica, you've already done more than enough. I couldn't even book a spa for your birthday. After you specifically said you'd like to go to one. No, I mean when we first met. I was a bit scared of you. Scared? That face? Really? He's a big teddy bear who punches people in the penis for being horrible people. Of which you're not, Haru. You were really blunt and asked a lot of questions, and you made me feel really uncomfortable, to be honest. But when you met me, you weren't disturbed or disgusted. Even though you're a bit clumsy about it sometimes, you've always tried your best to support me. Sometimes it doesn't work out. It's okay, I'm used to it. But it means so much to me to have even just one more person who just accepts me as who I am. Haru. Erica, would you look at me? Am I not already? Erica looks at Haru, who's smiling at her. Thank you for being my friend. Hug already! I kind of want to kiss you right now. Or kiss, one of the two. Haru stares at Erica. What? I... I don't know. Sorry, that just slipped out of my mouth. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Somebody please shut me up right now. Do you want snacks? I love I have snacks. I'm gonna go get snacks. Erica starts to go to the kitchen, but... Erica, wait. Eh? Did you mean that? I don't know. I think I did. Erica, you know I like... You like Minami, I know. We've had this conversation before. Do you still mean what you said? I don't know, okay? I just... I don't really know what I want. What I do know is I was kind of hurt. When I heard about your birthday from Minami and not from you. When you said that you didn't want Minami to see you like you are now, I kind of didn't like it. But when you smiled at me earlier, I felt really happy. So I just spoke without thinking. I know you like Minami. You can just, like, ignore everything I said just now. But you mean all of what you said. Yes. Thank you so much. What? Why are you crying? I just... I never thought somebody could actually like me that way. I'm so broken in so many ways, so why would anyone ever be attracted to me? Hart, you're not broken. I know. But it feels that way sometimes. So, thank you. You're welcome, I guess. But I'm sorry. I like Manami. But Manami's with Boyfriendo. I guess that, that doesn't matter, but, like, it's just sad. You can stop saying that. Like I said, I don't really know what I want, okay? Can we just keep being friends like before? Do you want to? Of course I do. And I'd like that, too. Glad that's settled. Alright, I still have to give you your birthday present. Be right back. What is it? Here. Happy birthday, Haru. What is it? The whole point of wrapping a present is so that you unwrap it and find out. Is it okay if I unwrap it here? Eh, yeah, go ahead! It's very taped. 
I'm not good at this kind of stuff, okay? No, I didn't mean... I was just making a comment. So open the present already! Wait! So I know it's not actually usable, since it's not the real thing, but I thought maybe you'd like having an ID card with your actual name and gender on it. Just to have, I guess. I don't know, this is probably really stupid. I love it. Thank you. It should be pretty durable. I got it printed at a shop. I'll keep it in my wallet. I have a slot for photo ID in it, but I never wanted to put my ID in there. This ID card is okay. I'm glad you like it. Erica, I... I'm really happy that we're friends. Me too. So did you want to eat some snacks? You said you liked sweet things, right? What'd you get? Well, I actually just got a huge bag of Mekon. Which I've never heard of before. You said you were getting a cold and all. Uh, you helped me finish it, right? Vitamin C is good for colds. Hey, you can't expect me to finish it all by myself. I bought these for you, so take responsibility. But I don't really like Mekon. What? The peel always gets under my fingernails. What are you, some little kid? I'll peel them for you, okay? So you better eat them. Fine. You have to eat some, too. Like, I'd let you eat all of them. Fruit aren't cheap, okay? If you're not gonna help me peel, then at least you put, pour some herb tea for both of us. Yay! We did good! I think. Probably. I'm- I'm- I'm calling this the ending that we're- that we're- that is canon. This is the canon ending. This is my canon ending. I don't care. Also, NPCKC. I hope the- this art is, uh, used for emotes. Because the watermelon thing is adorable. And I enjoy it. Afterwards. Wait, what? There's an epilogue? Thanks for talking to Manami for me. I wasn't sure I'd be able to. No problem. Manami said to call her when you feel better, though. I will. Also wanted to say thank you again. What for? What you said earlier? It really does mean a lot to me. Sorry I can't return your feelings. That's cool. I still like you as a friend. Thanks, Erica. Maybe not right away, but I want to tell Manami my feelings, too. I know how she'll respond, but you gave me the courage to be honest, so thanks again. No problem, I'll treat you to some ice cream afterwards. I'm looking forward to it. That was cute! So I guess April 3rd doesn't really have an afterwards. Or maybe I did a bad ending so there isn't an afterwards. Or maybe I have to play through... Let, maybe I have to let the thing happen instead of uh, operate from the load screen to get out of it. What phone? Oh, I gotta take that, I guess. So, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrone and Levy Out for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird, Dark Castle, 3DS, and Cat for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!